Hi everybody! In this video, I've got you a bunch of English phrasal verbs, vocabularies and phrases from a movie called Heidi. The movie is about an orphan named Heidi who lost her parents and is living with a woman called Aunt Didi. After living for several years with her Aunt Didi, she is brought to live in the mountains with her grandfather. Heidi loves living in the mountains with her grandfather and they both have lots of fun. Until one day, Aunt Didi comes back and takes Heidi away with her to live as a companion to Clara, a young wheelchair-bound girl. It's a really fun and amazing movie and also today I've picked a list of phrasal verbs, vocabularies and phrases from the movie that are great to help you expand your vocabulary and next time you hear them, you will know what do they mean and how you can use them in your sentences. The first one we have here is put on. Put on is a phrasal verb, means to start wearing something. Put your clothes on, we are going out. If you don't have any information about what a phrasal verb is, I have a particular lesson on this topic. The link is in the description box below. Go and check it out if you are interested to know about phrasal verbs. Put those on. Phrase number two, that's none of my affair. Affair is a private or personal concern. In the phrase, that's none of my affair, means it's not your personal concern or you haven't got anything to do with the matter. For example, if somebody asks you a personal question and you don't like to answer, you could say, it's none of your affair. And sometimes, you may also hear the phrase, it's none of your business, and these two phrases almost have the same meaning. That's none of my affair. Hurry up. This is a phrasal verb, means to do something more quickly. Hurry up. We will miss the bus. Come along, come along, hurry. Find out. Again, it's a phrasal verb. Means to discover a fact or piece of information about someone or something. I am going to find out the truth about her. Means that you are going to find out the whole fact or the whole truth about her. You will find out. To get along with someone. Means to have a good relationship with someone or to be friends with someone. I don't really get along with my new friends. It means that my relationship with my new friends is not very good. Save your breath. It's an informal phrase used for telling that it is useless to continue talking with someone because they will not listen to you. You can save your breath. There is no way I am coming with you. Save your breath. I have nothing to say to you. To get out of somewhere. It's a phrase means to leave that place. For example, if you do something wrong in the class, your teacher will say, get out of the classroom now. And it means that you should leave the classroom now. Get out of here. How do you do? How do you do is a formal way of saying hello to someone that you are meeting for the first time. For example, you are working in a company and you meet a client for the first time. So if you want to sound more polite while greeting him or her, you can say, how do you do Mr. John or how do you do Mrs. John. How do you do, grandfather? To take someone away means to make someone leave a place or go with you. Police came in the night and took him away. And if any man tried to take Heidi away from me, God help him. To know something by heart means to have memorized something perfectly or to know something perfectly. I know that English song by heart. It means that you have memorized that song and now you can sing it yourself. You wrote this story by heart. To give someone away means to reveal or show the true identity of someone. It was too dark for him to see the thief, but her voice gave her away. It means that it was too dark for him to see whether the thief was a woman or a man, but when she spoke, he understood that the thief was a woman, so her voice revealed the true identity of her. Don't give me away. <laughs> Keep you still means to be quiet, often said as an order. I know this is really hard. Just try to keep still. Sit down and keep still. It's very kind of you. This is a polite way to say thank you. And usually as a refusal. For example, if someone offers something to you but you don't really need the thing, you can politely refuse their offer by saying, that's really kind of you, or it's very kind of you but I don't need it. It's kind of your friends but my legs will carry me. Yawn. Yawn is a verb. 
means to open the mouth wide and take a lot of air into the lungs and slowly send it out, usually when you are tired. I cannot stop yawning. I must be tired. Abhinad, did I actually see you yawn? To be horrified means to be very shocked. He looked horrified when I told him. I'm horrified. To scold someone means to speak to someone angrily because you disapprove of their behavior or you don't like the way they behave. His mother scolded him for breaking the window. Don't scold her. To dawdle means to do something very slowly as if you don't want to finish it. Stop dawdling. You'll be late for school. It means to be quick and do not waste too much time. Don't dawdle. Homesick means unhappy because of being away from home for a long period or a long time. She is feeling homesick and lonely. It means that she misses her friends, family and home very much. If you still feel homesick then, I'll ask him to send you back. Ought to. Ought to is a modal verb. It is used to say that it is necessary to perform the action expressed in the verb. We ought to clean the room before we go home. It means that it is necessary to clean the room before going home. I dare say, but don't you think you ought to practice it? Dreadful means frightening or causing fear, shock and suffering. The news report was so dreadful that I just had to switch it off. A man is a dreadful and she If something is beyond your power or beyond your strength, it means you are not able to do that thing. Going to the future is beyond human's strength. It means that human beings are not able to go to the future. Excite Clara to do things beyond her strength. Send away. Is a phrasal verb. Means to dismiss someone or something. I sent the housekeeper away when I began to suspect that she was stealing from me. Why didn't you send the girl away? If someone or something is odd, it means they are strange or unexpected. Her father was an odd man. It means that her father was a strange man. It's very odd. To keep an eye on someone or something means to watch someone or something or to stay informed about them and their behavior. Keep an eye on your brother while I am out, please. That old fellow is acting very strange. I think you better keep an eye on him. Detention room. Detention room is a place where young persons may be detained for short periods by order of a court. The police kept him in detention room for two days. Put him in a detention room then. Open Go away. Go away is a phrasal verb, means to leave a place. I missed her a lot when she went away. We're going away. Deny. Deny is a verb, means to refuse to accept or admit something. John denied that he broke the window, but I'm sure he did. I guess I can't deny it this time. If you're enthusiastic to watch the full movie, I'm in Heidi. I've put the link down there. And also if you would like taking the quiz of today's lesson, the link for that is also there. Until next time, you take care.